Hi, I'm Rick Kaler. Thanks for joining me. Ask 10 people how the rich got rich, and you'll get at least 10 opinions. Some of the more common assumptions are that people became wealthy by inheriting fortunes, taking advantage of those less fortunate, or playing the stock market. I even remember one government employee who insisted anyone who obtained wealth had to do so illegally. While a few people become rich doing all this, uh, they're really the exception rather than the rule. A survey by the Spectrum Group asked 132,000 people with a net worth of over $25 million where their wealth came from. Here are the results. Number one, uh, top uh, place that wealth comes from is hard work. 87% in fact said that they obtain their wealth by working hard. Most millionaires put in long hours, often in careers that they love enough so that really their work becomes play. The second, education, 78%. Certainly people with college educations earn more than those without it. Now that's well known and there's a lot of statistics that will verify that. However, the right type of education for building wealth may not be found in a college curriculum. For example, I know one person with no college degree who took the equivalent of 75 credit hours of real estate education and amassed a large real estate uh, fortune. Third, smart investing, 72%. So don't confuse smart investing with sophisticated investments. It's just really not that hard to invest smartly. Here's, a, here's how in a nutshell, start young, invest regularly, don't speculate, diversify your investments over multiple asset classes and multiple securities, reduce fees, pay attention to minimizing taxes, and don't time the markets. The fourth was taking risk. 63%, almost two-thirds, said that uh, that it was important to take risks and I would add to that smart risks. Uh, actions like starting your own business, buying into the company you work for, relocating your family to a city with uh, brighter prospects, changing careers or borrowing to purchase investment real estate all carry with them a certain degree of risk. And with risk inevitably comes failure. And the millionaire next door, Thomas J. Stanley and William D. Danko, point out that the average millionaire makes 3.1 major financial, career, or business mishaps in a lifetime, while the average non-millionaire makes 1.6 such mistakes. Frugality came in at number 5 at 59%. I've often call, called this the common denominator of people that have wealth. My guess is that it didn't rank higher only because many wealth builders don't view themselves as frugal. They tend not to have a written budget. They don't shop at thrift, thrift stores. Uh, they buy name brands. They spend everything in their checking account. But what they forget is that they pay themselves first, which includes paying all their bills and taxes, spending heavily for education, and investing 20 to 50% of their paycheck. Then they blow what's left. I call that frugality. Six was being in the right place at the right time with 56%. And luck came in at seventh at 53%. Of course, circumstances and luck, factors like timing, and knowing people who can help you, uh, being blessed with abilities and good health, all play roles in building wealth. What also matters, however, is being prepared to take advantage of favorable circumstances. Eighth was running a business at 46%. And this fits closely with the reason, uh, or reason number one that we talked about, which was working hard. When you work hard and take smart risks in your own business, you go beyond earning a substantial salary. You build a valuable asset. Ninth was guidance offered by an advisor. I kind of like that one. It's 35%. Part of the reason number three, smart investing, is being smart enough to
to learn from skilled mentors and advisors. And finally, the last tenth was inheritance, 30 percent. Yes, uh, inheritance is one source of wealth. I'd suggest that most of the inheritors who are able to keep and build on that wealth do so because of factors that we've already discussed like hard work, education, and smart investing. It appears that success in building wealth is similar to success in other areas. The harder and smarter you work, the more success you're likely to have. Thanks for joining me.